Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today we have our fourth and final box of our Christmas craft supplies unboxing. Now this box is huge and I've tried to pick it up from underneath my desk and I very clearly overfilled it last year because one, I'm struggling to lift it and two, as I'm trying to pull it out, the box is just breaking up on me. So I can't put the box on the desk, but it is at the side of me right here. So I will be able to just grab things out of it. I'm just going to open the top just to make it a bit easier. Um, but if you're new here wondering what we're doing, why are we doing Christmas in June? Well, the honest answer is, I don't know. Um, but a lot of the big Christmas craft supply places, in particular, in particular like Hunky Dory, have started to bring out their Christmas craft supplies. Um, they've recently launched their Hunky Dory Blockbuster and I have bought it, of course I've bought it, I couldn't not buy it, but I know that lots of other places are gonna start bringing out their Christmas craft supplies too. And I thought, why not get out what we've got from last year? One, because I wanna see what I've got. Um, I'm very much aware that things like embellishments and stuff, like we've already unboxed things that I forgot I've got. And there's a high chance that I will end up buying the same thing again and again and again because I don't realise I've got it or I can't remember that I've got it. So doing this will allow me before all of these Christmas, these beautiful Christmas craft supplies get launched to know what I've got. It also makes me realise how much I've got and that I don't really need that much this year. Um, so let's jump into it. This last box, I believe, is well i'm hoping it's all of our 12 by 12s and paper kits because we haven't found many of those yet guys and i know i had a lot last year so i'm just gonna grab as they come out the box and i can see this is definitely rammed that's probably why i could not pick it up so let's just start grabbing so what have we got here oops just caught you so this is what is left of the winter wishes collection I think this was one of their block blockbuster ones last year. Um, I picked up a lot from Hunky Dory. So some of them are blockbusters for 2023 and some of them maybe individual kits. Slash, they were all individual, but you know what I mean. Um, but this is the Winter Wishes. Not sure what's left in there, but this certainly seems to be a decent chunk. So we'll be able to make some out of that. What's next? It's a bit mixed up as well, guys. Uh, I have this... This is from the works. Make and create design paper pad. I think I picked this up when they had the half price sale. Uh, so yeah, that's unused. I've got 12 sheets. What's this? Because this looks the same. What's this one? That is the same. So I picked up two of those. So I've got 24 sheets of that to work through. 99% sure we didn't use that one. Then I have a the Paper Tree Winter Berries Die Cut Collection. Think about that in the sale as well. Again, I don't think we've touched it. I think that's a full brand new pack. What's this? Ah, this is my Christmas is Coming decoupage toppers. We definitely use this. I made at least one of every single one of these toppers. Made these into cards. Took them to... Uh, I think I only took these to one craft fair and I sold out of all of them all of the cards were absolutely snapped up um, but I didn't get a chance to make any more and I'd done them for my last craft haul at my last craft fair so we're definitely getting these guys out again I think and don't quote me on this but I think Hunky Dory did still have this on their website so if you like the decoupage that I've been doing and you really like the look of those Christmas ones, I'd definitely go and have a look on their website because I'm 99% sure it was still on there. Um, then we have this. This is a card kit from the works. Again, I picked this up when it was on offer. Half price, uh, 59 pieces, A6 cards. There's backing papers, a few embellishments. Um so yeah again we'll have to give it a go i'm terrible aren't i because we're going to be using all of these and not all of this will be available um but i guess the only thing i can say is that as always with anything that i make 
you can just replicate the designs with what you've got. Um, we've got this Polly and Pickering Winter Days insert collection. Not sure. Uh, no, I do know why. I was going to say I don't know why I've packaged this one with the Christmas and not any of the others. But I think it's because all the other ones of these I've had came after I'd boxed my Christmas craft supplies. Um, I guess it's not fully Christmas, but it's all wintry style scenes with like lots of snow and that, which would work. Um, my plan is to make some cards out of them. I've just not got around to it. Then I have, oh my goodness, I have a Seasons Greetings, Peace and Blessings decollage set. I think this came in one of the goodie boxes. I picked up, I think it was three of the Christmas goodie boxes. But I'd already stopped making Christmas cards, so everything in them has just been packed away. So I think that's where that came from. I might be wrong, but I think that's where it came from. Uh, oh... I nearly bought this. Um, this is a pack of Christmas cardstock. That's what it was labelled up as. Um, I very nearly picked another one of these up from Hinky Dory the other day when I put my Blockbuster in. And then I decided not to because I know they've got a lot of Christmas stuff coming up. Um, I'm really glad I didn't now. So I've got that. Some of it's been used, um, but there's definitely lots in there else i've got oh, let me grab these last few bits uh not last they're the last on this section but there's still lots left um this is a contemporary christmas beautiful baubles luxury topper set again i believe this came from the goodie boxes last year because i i'm pretty sure i've got the contemporary christmas collection um Christmas classics again pretty sure that came out of a goodie box I think all of these did or a lot of, certainly some of these I'm going to show you did um I have the hunky dory favorites Christmas toppers in the feathered friends and I also have it in the a perfect Christmas pretty sure all of those came out of goodie boxes then I have Oh god, it's all stuck together. There we go. This is a Winter Wishes luxury topper collection. I have two of those then. Is that not what this one was down here? Oh dear. Oh dear me. Is that not Winter Wishes? Yeah, I do. I've got two Winter Wishes. So not only do I have two Winter Wishes, but I started to. Maybe I didn't. Actually, maybe this one doesn't started. I'm going with it being open, but you know what? I'm, I'm wondering if that came out of a goodie box and I've just opened it to look at it and not actually used it. That's a possibility. Then I have a Under the Moonlight Deluxe Craft Pad. This is gorgeous. I've made a few cards out of this because it was so pretty. Um, but again, I could probably do with using that up this year, getting it out of the way. Then we have a Mui Christmas. I think I've got duplicates of these because I think these came in that um, Hunky Dory Favourites kit that I picked up that's got the Christmas ones in. Um, and then I've got another decollage again, Seasons Greetings, this is the Snowy Wishes. Pretty sure that came out of one of the goodie boxes. So we've got quite a pile here. Um, oh my, oh goodness me, we're nowhere, oh, oh my God. What did I do last year? I was going to say, why did nobody stop me? But I think a lot of people were telling me not to buy them and I just didn't stop. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we've got some more 8x8s in here so we've got the Paper Boutique Perfect Partners Christmas Cuties we've seen that in two other boxes so far we've got a Winter Blossom that we had in the last box we've got an Icy Christmas which we had in the first box that's a random sheet of paper from somewhere uh, oh, we've got some more embellishments we've got some um, Holly brand new never been opened why does that not surprise me we've got a color block frosted christmas this one's in the matte we've got the frosted christmas in the silk but this is the matte version 
We've got some stick balls, perfect stick balls, perfect verses. Uh, definitely came out of a uh, craft box. And this is the Pitch Perfect Christmas Porcelain Portraits. Again, this one definitely came out of one of my craft boxes. So lots more in there. I am going to run out of room on here. I can already see it. Um, oh, let's just carry on grabbing these out. We've got another Winter Days. As I said, I've got quite a few of those because they came free. And I've got a Christmas Journey die cut collection. I can't remember if we've used that one or not. Um, what else have we got? This one's definitely been used. Ah, so this is a Christmas Journey. This is the Essential Card Collection. This has been used, so I'm guessing we've probably used it with that. Because that would make absolute sense. Uh, I think this is the Contemporary Christmas one. Can't see the label. I'm pretty sure this is the Contemporary Christmas kit. I know we used that. We used, I think we used all the full kits from Hunky Dory that I purchased myself and that didn't come out of a, um, didn't come out of one of the goodie boxes. This is the Festive Friends one. I, I remember making that to a penguin card. Oh. We've got the Festive Splendour. So this is the Adorable Scrabble card collection. That's the um, plain colours. And we've got the inserts and papers. And then there's the actual kit as well. So this, so uh, for, for those of you that have been like watching me for a while, you'll be looking and going, there's one top taken out of it. I know, I know. I've changed my ways, I promise. Um, if you watch any of my videos, like if you if you ever want to spend time going back and thinking what did you used to do, um, I used to make one card video. Um, I know, horrendous. And it still used to take me like forever. Like I've really, the more I make the cards, the quicker I become. Because if you watch back some of my videos, like I look at them, I do like to look back because I like to see that I've progressed and like what I used to do. And for some of them, I think it took me like 20, 25 minutes to make a single card. Um, now I know that I can make, I don't know, three or four in that time. Like in an hour's video, I've made anything up to like 11, 12 cards. So, um, but that's what I used to do. And then I would just have the kits sitting around forever. Now I've been trying to really clear out some of my kits. I've used up like four it looked paper pad recently um so i'm really trying and so that's why a lot of these need to get used up this year um i am going to have an avalanche i can see that there are some paper pads there that are going to fall in a minute oh let's keep going this is another kit <laughs> again i think i made like one card of, out of it um i can't see the title hold on and work out what this is uh this is the christmas classics so again this came from the blockbuster last year i think there was four i think it was the christmas classics the contemporary christmas the winter wishes and maybe the furry furry friends no furry festive friends festive why well, got furry festive friends i think i think that was the four on the blockbuster last year um, I may be wrong, but I think that's what we were working with. This appears to be a pack of plain papers that must go with a kit somewhere. Uh, these are some more bits that I picked up from John Eastwood. They were like 50 pence a sheet. So we've got that that will make a load of cards. We've got that one. That one's a hot, uh, hunky dory. That one, which is hunky dory. That one, which is Santa Pants. That was what some of that decoupage was. I think that looks like an adorable kit. I never had it. I don't know how old it is. Um, but it looks like such a fun Santa character. Uh, then we've got... So you go, lot 50p. Festive Wonders, that's hunky-dory. I mean, that's six cards, isn't it? 
with that shadow of a doubt, that's six cards. Um, stylish season, hunkadori. Again, it was 50p. And I got that one, that one's 50p. I mean, you guys knew me, that's at least three cards. At least. And then you've got all these sentiments. I think they're fabulous. Fabulous. Um, I'm running out of room. Oh, my goodness. Put that over there. That will sit on top too. Here we go. Right. I'm trying to make sure there's still room for you guys. Uh, they're going to tumble. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. What have I done here? This. This is a pattern paper pack. This is the retro wrap, retro paper, uh, like wrapping paper. That definitely came out of a goodie box. Sometimes I can just look and see and know that they're not something that I would have bought myself. Not that they're not beautiful. Holly Jolly Christmas. I think I bought that one myself. Because I liked it, I think. Or did that, that might come out of a craft box. Maybe that could come out of a craft box. I tell you what I haven't seen that I thought I bought last year. I thought I bought a... Um, mind you, there are a couple more kits in here. I thought I bought the snowman one. Oh, I did. Oh, it's here, look. It's just not enough wrapper. So I've got the Frosty and Friends. That was it. Frosty and Friends. That's the rest of that kit there. It's just not in a packet. Then we've got... The Christmas Village Elegance Collection uh, Snowflakes Builder Wreath. I do remember getting that. And I do remember saying, I don't know if I will make them into wreaths or just have these as uh, embellishments for things. I've got a pack of inserts there to something. I'm not sure what, but to something. Oh, and there's another one of those Craft Stash & Co. Festive Shaker card kits. Um, this came in one of their goodie bags. I picked up two of the Craft Stash goodie bags. I think they came out last year. I wasn't impressed with them. Um, personally, I wouldn't buy one again. It's all on the review video that I did when they came. They were identical and they hadn't said that bags would be identical. It was pretty much all things like dies and stamps and stuff. And I, I wasn't a fan. I personally think that the Hunky Dory ones are far better. Hence why I keep buying the Hunky Dory ones. Um, so, I mean... Yeah, we've got a pretty decent pile here already, I know. I've still not touched the 12 by 12s yet. Oh, all the big pile of 6 by 6s that has fallen down. So, let's crack on. We're going to go for the 12 by 12s We have a traditional Christmas. This is from the works. I think I may have two of these somewhere. Um, oh, goodness, what's going on here? Oh, what's this one? Hold on. I've got some off-cut pieces here that I've kept. Another one there. That's one that's a bit battered, but we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, and then we have the Snow and Ice Christmas Designer Pad. These all came out last year. Again, it was from the works. Again, I thought I've got more of these. Hmm. Then we have the Albi Gonk for Christmas designer pad. Uh, not sure I use that one either. There we have another snow and ice. So maybe it was the snow and ice one I bought two of. It's quite possible. Um, then I have, oh my God, this. Now I don't know what this is. Um, I know it's paper. But this came from one of the craft clearances that I picked up last year and it's got quite a few Christmas inspired pieces um, like really good big backing paper some of it's not but like we've got this gorgeous red with snowflakes on so yeah but I don't have any information on it really same with that here Anna Griffin since 2007 it's quite old isn't it but yeah, that just came from a craft clearance, but I really ought to get it used. And then, I think one of the 6 by 6s now, and they're all a bit all over the place. And there's a very high chance that I've got multiples of some of these, because I think a lot of them, 
not all but a lot of them i picked up when the works had their half price sale so some of them like this was just a pound this is the traditional christmas six by six is that the same as that one might be very similar anyway um we grab these ones i can get we've got the merry and bright one we've got christmas night we've got two of the it's dexmas bought that to use with those packs of toppers and then never use them then sorry i was just trying to grab some more we've got another merry and bright i think we've seen one of those already haven't we Actually, i'm losing track of what we've got here Christmas night, merry and bright. These are all from the works. They're absolutely stunning. I love their paper pads. Uh, we've got another Christmas night one. We've got a uh, white wonderland from Tonic Studios. This came in a craft clearance. Then I have a pile of Christmas inspired papers that all came from the craft clearance. So. I've no idea what they are, like where they're from. They could be from different pads, I'm not sure. I've got a Violet Studios, the Nutcracker. I think we did use this one. I think I used that one. Picked that one up in the sale as well. We love a sale, don't we? Go on this channel anyway. The better value, the better. I absolutely love my value craft supplies. Um, we've got two of the festive spirits. We've got two of the welcome to candy cane land. We've got two of this. This is just an A5 design pad, 16 sheets, eight different designs. I mean, again, I'm 99% sure these were picked up on offer. A pound. You can't go wrong. And I think that's what I did, actually. I think towards the end of last year around November, December time, I um, the works had their big half price sale on all Christmas craft supplies and I just went mad with the sole purpose of putting them away for this year. The idea being that I wouldn't then buy any more craft supplies this year, but you know, <laughs> that's not going to happen, is it? Um, then I think we're nearly there. I think I've just got these two. There's a couple of little scrappy bits. There's a couple of little scrap bits that I've put to one side that's in right at the bottom. But then we've got a Joy to the World. Again, that's from the works. We have a holiday collection, the Winter Matte Stack um this is one that came in one of the craft clearances but there's lots of beautiful beautiful papers there that can be used for christmas and there's some that are not quite so christmasy and then the last thing in my box is the hunky dory essential book of christmas merry sentiments this was last year's release i believe and they are all merry they're beautiful i've used a few of them not too many but i have used a couple um and that is it i say that like there isn't a lot there but there is absolutely a horrendous amount a lot more than i thought i'd got um but i am really glad that i've opened those up and i now know what i've got and what i haven't what i need what i don't which basically means i don't need anything but i'll probably want everything um I've got to try and put my office back together now which is going to be a job but um that is everything so thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you've enjoyed this kind of mini series of just four videos um just me unboxing things that i've got they these are all old um even the bits that i've bought most of the stuff certainly in this one that i've just shown you this is all paper pads and kits that I picked up last year. So while some of them may still be available, a lot of these may not be. Doesn't mean you won't be able to pick up them. Um, and I am looking forward to the works, especially bringing out their Christmas paper pads because they do some really beautiful ones. Um, which I will probably pick up because, you know, I just can't help myself. 
But if there's anything here you'd like a closer look at, if there's any of these kits that you've just never seen before, um, let me know and I can either share you the video with the craft haul on so you can see the entire full kit because there are some of these, a lot of these where I've done one card out of it because that was just what I used to do. Um, or I can take a closer look at them now. Um, there just may be some bits that are missing. But I can't wait to get going with this lot. I've just got to get my my Christmas head on now. Um, which I think is quite easy at the minute because all it's doing is raining. Um, we definitely haven't had a summer yet here in the UK, have we? But thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week and happy crafting.